First of all, it's the first time I've made an exhibition entirely as rear projection onto film, which is very ambitious. But I think UCCA is also very ambitious, so we agreed that we would do this very complicated and difficult install. So I'm very happy to see that, and it's the first time it's happened. Um, and it's nice that that has happened in China. In English, uh, the term power has, has two meanings. One is obviously um, force, you know, um, or even violence in a sense. Power, you know, involves you can you know, use power to lift something, to change something. But another meaning is, um, is energy, as in um, you power up your phone, you energize your phone. And it's the same word, power, two meanings of the word power. So I was interested in this idea that this exhibition is, is a piece of theater, in a sense, um, which engages directly with subjects of energy, uh, fundamentally landscape, fundamentally, uh, but also power in the form of political power, um, and to a degree violence. There's many histories of digital art, but you know, some of the very earliest ones seem to be slightly stillborn. You know, experiments of art and technology, with Rauschenberg and Jobs and Billy Kluver. I'm not sure where that went, but it just kind of stopped. The art school is still singular. It's still technophobe. And I think the art fair in particular has resisted digital art. Uh, to use that term, which I don't typically use. So anyway, to conclude, um, I feel that the next kind of 15, 20 years could be very interesting. In my case, the instructions are very visual, you know, manifest a data farm. And I think that if artists are to kind of retain a kind of, a, as they always do, but artists must retain a relation to contemporary conditions. And if to do that, you must take ownership of what I call the algorithmic turn, where the algorithm emerges in, 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 in society as a potent force for change. And the, the real, as you see it, is deeply affected by the algorithmic term. So on that basis, I have made a very deep commitment over about 20 years now to experience the work. I mean, in a sense, what I'm involved in is a form of world making. I produce worlds. Those worlds, once you power up the machine and open the simulation executable file, they unfold, but you instruct that duration. So in a sense, it's the longest film, you know, the longest, and time is the primary reason why that's the case.